I want to praise our living God for he is glorious and he is wonderful and amazing and God I give you thanks for another day I give you thanks for all the healing and blessing and 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 respect and honor and mercy and favor and blessings I mean you're just remarkable father and I, I thank you so much and I give glory to this man who died right here on this cross for us Jesus Christ our King of Kings Lord of Lords and the rock that was rolled away for he is risen and he's coming back real quick real real quick glory to God the Most High Glory to God the Most High. I want to bring to your attention where um, Proverbs and your King James Bible, Proverbs 13, 15, where it says, the disobedient, it will be hard for them. <laughs> See, the Father brought this to my attention to bring to your attention from the Geneva Bible, from the original Hebrew Bible that was first written. Uh... 13 through 15, Proverbs 13. He that despises the word, he shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment, he shall be rewarded. The instruction of the wise man is as the wellspring of life to turn away from the snares of death. So listen to the wise men, the ones who speak with the Holy Spirit coming through us. Because you can escape death, the snares of death. Good understanding maketh acceptable. But the way of the disobedient is hated. Not hard, but hated. So get that through your head. Because if you think it's just hard on you, you won't make it up there to the kingdom. I want you to understand your ego, your pride. And your selfishness of not wanting to get to know Jesus Christ. I mean, seriously, how much pride do you have that you absolutely refuse to know this man and what he did for you? What he endured for you and your stupid sins. My stupid sins. After getting so deep into my ministry and so deep into my relationship with God. I wouldn't think twice about going back. Or sinning or, or, or just messing up in general. I mean, it's the worst thing you can have in you. Selfishness, pride, and ego. You need to seek his face and come to him with humility. Because with pride, God will disgrace you publicly. Your ego, he will crush. And your selfishness won't feel good. God comes after us the way he does to chastise us because we are his children. He does it with love. You have to have tough love at times because you're a stubborn mule. Yeah. Stubborn mule. Huh. He knows me far away with that one. But all it does is, is when you when you sin and when you when you have that selfishness and that ego and that Pride, you, you mean, you do good and then you fall back 25 steps. It's not about you. It's about Christ. Don't go around giving everybody all this crap, all this wanting a sympathy pity party, and then expect them to react the way you want them to because it ain't going to happen. God makes sure of that. And then what do you do? You fall into a deep depression because you keep thinking it's about you oh look what I've done for these people oh look what I've done for, oh look what they've done to me oh me oh my and then you get so extremely butthurt it is unbelievable how you react because
because you're selfish and you want somebody just to understand you. You're not going to be understood when you are making it about you. You're nobody's going to feel sorry for you anymore. It's done. Jesus Christ is coming back quick, so you might want to stop and, and turn to his face and come with humility and understand it's not about you. It's never been about you. It's about Jesus Christ. You sit there and you, you allow the devil to defeat you. The devil's already lost. Your flesh is the only thing that is having trouble to stop being defeated by Satan. Now you're going to keep allowing yourself to fall into sin? If you don't think selfishness, egotism, and pride ain't sin, you better check yourself before he wrecks you. God chastises us for a reason. Not because he's mean, but because you need to act right. And he's trying as hard as he possibly can to get you home to the kingdom. He just wants your attention. He just wants to love you. And he wants to show you all the desires of your heart and give them all to you. And he just wants to hold you and nurture you and care for you. He chastises us because he cares. A parent that does not correct their children immediately does not love their children. That is God. And he will do anything in his power. If he has to take a child from you, if he has to take a loved one from you, if he has to take everything you have, remember Job. When Satan said, oh yeah, God, he, God he's going to curse you. He's going to come against you. He's going to hate you. And God's like, yeah, right, watch this. God took everything from Job. And then, leprosy. He allowed Satan to do all that to him. Just to prove to Satan, he's like no other. He still loves me. He still praises me through it all. Through all of it. Because Job knew it was not about him. It was about God. So stop being in this pity party. Stop trying to get people to feel sorry for you. It's not about you. Lose yourself every day. Die in yourself every day. Because it is about him. Not you. That is what's wrong with this world today. Everybody just wants to think it's all about them. It has never been. And the more you keep thinking, as time is running out, all I got to say is you better brace yourself for what's about to come upon your life. Because God is going to do the most ultimate, extreme, painful thing to you to get your last undivided attention before the return of Jesus Christ, his son. So, just so you know, you might want to brace yourself or get right with God real fast. Because he's already told me many people, many people, people that I know as well, that he's going to wreak havoc to get their intention. Because they just will not break the habit of the pride, the selfishness, and the egotism. He will humiliate you and disgrace you in public. He will crush it and destroy it. And you will seek his face with humility. If your choice is wanting to go to heaven. And don't think God ain't going to get you now. That he's going to deal with you on judgment day. Or God understands your ways the hell he does. He knows your ways and he ain't going to understand you. Because he doesn't want to. Not when you're living in sin. And you put yourself above this man right here, Jesus Christ. God is going to correct you real fast. And you need to understand it's going to hurt. So, he's giving you a choice. Fix yourself before he destroys it. Glory to God the Most High, I'm Mother Hephzibah with Rise Up Dry Bones, Evangelical Power, Ministry International.